Hey everyone, it's Delaney Roberts here from Bell Green High School. I am one of the fourth grade teachers and I am super, super excited to have all my kiddos back in class. I know everyone in the school as a whole is so excited to see smiling faces, hearing laughter, and just seeing life fill the school again. Um, today I'm filming this video just because I feel like there's a few housekeeping things that are important to go over before the school year begins and it's just so much information. A video was just the best way to go. So I will try not to ramble. I will try to keep it short and simple. You guys just bear with me, but I promise you I feel like this information is very important before we begin August 20th. So the first thing that I want to talk about is masks. Uh, Governor Ivey has mandated that students will wear students and teachers <laughs> will wear masks until August 31st and with that being said, a few things that are important is just sanitation of masks. Please make sure you're washing masks throughout the week as much as you can. As well, there are going to be a few times throughout the day that students will not be wearing masks, specifically when they're eating or if they're outside for physical education. And just a little tip is when they take the masks off, there are some lanyards that you can buy at Dollar Tree or lanyards you can buy at Walmart, etc., that you can put around the loops of the mask. That way, when students take the masks off, they just fall to their chest and we don't have to worry about them falling on the ground or someone else picking them up, etc. The next thing I want to talk about is procedures. There's going to be a lot of changes in the procedures here at BHS, not only in the school itself, but the classrooms. And these procedures are put in place to essentially keep everyone safe and healthy and the prevention of the spread of COVID-19. So please just talk to your students about how important it is to pay attention to the new procedures and just keep a positive outlook on change. You know, the change is in place to keep everyone safe, not just them, but the other ones or everyone around them. And so I just want to keep a positive outlook on everything. I know change can be hard and I know this is a lot of new, but everything's going to work out for the best. I absolutely believe that. And the next thing, very important that I want to talk about, is student work. On the first day of school, students will re be receiving a packet that has the first nine weeks worth of work. Yes, I know, that sounds crazy. However, this is a great way, and I, I love that they that our administration has thought about this because if for some reason we are out of school for a day, two days, a week, the whole nine weeks, we are able to easily transition from traditional schooling to virtual schooling. So students will have these packets. However, something to keep in mind is that we will be using this work in the classroom on a day-to-day -day basis as long as we are in the traditional school setting. So when students take it home every night, they have to bring it back to school every morning. And I know that sounds like a lot, but we just have to just keep pushing through and understand that this is the best way that we can easily transition in and out of traditional and virtual learning if necessary. Um, so just please talk to your students about keeping their stuff nice and neat. And each teacher is working out a way that students can store their packets, whether it's in a binder or folders or whatever way the teacher has chosen that's best for their students. So we're on your team and we're going to try to make this as easy and smooth as we possibly can for everyone. The next thing I want to talk about is snack. Snack will be in the classroom this year, so the cart will be being brought around to us. One thing to keep in mind is bringing in as close to exact change as we can so that you know Bobby's not getting Susie's quarters and vice versa we just want to keep down on the transfer of any germs or anything like that um, students also have the option uh, I know for my classroom as well as many other classrooms in bringing in money like twenty dollars for the next two weeks and we will have a tally to be able to keep up with what your students spent and the remaining balance that way uh, you don't have to worry about even sending snack with them that week that's something that each individual teacher is thinking about doing so if that's something that interests you please contact your teacher uh, your students teacher the next thing I want to talk about is Google Classroom. This is a virtual platform that many teachers will be using for not only their virtual students, but their traditional students as well. Uh, I know myself in fourth grade, I use it pretty frequently and we'll be using it frequently this year. So with that being said, I have already set up my class and sent out the invitations or the invites, however, and students can access that by logging into their student email. It's their first name, 
dot last name at students dot franklin dot k twelve dot al dot us. I know that is a lot to remember, but students, most students are very familiar with that. You can also um, contact your parent or your your parent, your uh, child's teacher about more information on that. But once they log into their email, they should be able to access their class. You can also watch tons of YouTube videos on how to do this or just Google in general. And there are a lot of websites that give you a step by step. My students, like I said, already have been invited to the class. So if you have time, before school begins, please log in log in and just get familiar with that platform. But last but not least, COVID-19. That's why we're here. There's a lot of changes um, that are coming, but guys, we've just, like I said, we can't let COVID-19 be the defining factor of how we're going to look at this school year. It's just, we just got to keep pushing forward. We need to come together as a family more now than ever and just invest ourselves in not only the learning of our students' minds, but their hearts as well. So I'm super, super excited for this year. I've already already said it a million times, but I really am pumped. I'm, it's just going to be an awesome year. And if you have any questions for me, please contact me. I've sent out the remind invites and I'm available via, via email or calling me on my school line, but I'm super pumped and I hope everyone has a wonderful evening. Thanks guys.